our allies are not paying their fair share. And I've been talking about this recently a lot. The countries we are defending must pay for the cost of this defense. And if not, the U.S. must be prepared to let these countries defend themselves. We have no choice. <laughs> President Obama has not been a friend to Israel. He's treated Iran with tender love and care and made it a great power. We picked fights with our oldest friends, and now they're starting to look elsewhere for help. Remember that. Not good. President Obama watches helplessly as North Korea increases its aggression. Our president has allowed China to continue its economic assault on American jobs and wealth refusing to enforce trade deals. We have the leverage, we have the power over China, economic power, and people don't understand it. We've made the Middle East more unstable and chaotic than ever before. We left Christians subject to intense persecution and even genocide. And we're in a war against radical Islam, but President Obama won't even name the enemy. And unless you name the enemy, you will never, ever solve the problem. ISIS is making millions and millions of dollars a week selling Libya oil. And you know what? We don't blockade. We don't bomb. We don't do anything about it. It's almost as if our country doesn't even know what's happening, which could be a fact and could be true. This will all change when I become president. I will not hesitate to deploy military force when there is no alternative. But if America fights, it must only fight to win. I will never send our finest into battle unless necessary, and I mean absolutely necessary, and will only do so if we have a plan for victory with a capital V.